Hello, I'm Fizzy. And I'm Mike Combs. And welcome to another race in the uh, Fizz Quiz Highlights for AUR PC Split 1 Season 13. This is round 4 at the Spanish Grand Prix. As you can see, we are not in Russia for round 4 this season because the shorter calendar, 15 rounds, which means 6 races had to miss out. And luckily, Russia was one of them. Yeah, definitely. It feels good, you know, to be back at Spain. We also had some pretty awesome strategy prepared for this race, but uh, weather came in clutch and we will have to deal with uh, full wet at the start of the race. So, uh, at Great. least, at, at least a dry qualifying, I mean, you know. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yes, I guess. So then, here we are in the qualifying passion, of course. One comes on the left side, me on the right side, as per usual. I'm just starting the lap full throttle around the final corner. DRS enabled it down at the main straight and uh, well, all you need to really do down in this first corner is to make sure you hit the braking po point around the 100 meter board and it looks like, oh I was close to cutting the corner there actually on the inside which uh, isn't something I usually do on that one but uh, it looks like uh, Chris was able to get, uh, gain slightly more speed through the first couple of corners as we come under the bridge. Slight advantage but it's actually very close, both of us setting a purple first sector on our particular laps. Yeah, both uh, quicker than a Berg's particular time at, at the moment. And uh, yeah, coming out into turn 5, a little bit of always there for me, but you're on the cap there as well, so that's not going to benefit both of our exits. One of them, this attraction zone out of turn 6 and 7 is pretty difficult on the cap, but we have now managed it pretty nicely. Fl flooring it down into turn 9, hitting the cap a little bit on the outside, it doesn't really matter too much now into the last sector we go. Yeah, and now got a bit of traffic ahead, which isn't uh, really helping. I know Zanali retired from session, so he's just luckily pulled off there with the yellow flag, but uh, through the final sector now, long a right hander. Tricky to get the traction down, I found there. Got a short shift a little bit through there, and then third gear, and then into the very annoying chicane. Slight lock up for, for Chris, but he managed to still hit the apex very nicely indeed, and then of course again, flat out through the final corner, a bit off the apex for whatever reason. And as we come across the line, you can see the gap there, Chris, with a 120.1 and four, uh, sorry, three and a half tens or so off your time. And look again how close you were to pole two thousands. Nah, that was <laughs> really. But Bear came in uh, at the end of the session with just two thousands of a second. That was actually purple uh, going uh, on the next lap as well, but it wasn't quite enough. But still, front row once again pretty good. And you did a PB as well in qualifying with P7 yeah. there, and uh, the top. 17 within 8 tens and a little bit. That's crazy. That's very crazy. But yeah, like I said, I was actually very happy with my 120.4 to only be three and a half tenths of pole because uh, I think, yeah, like I said, that's my best that I've ever done. So we're gonna jump into the race and we just, uh, well, you are just taking out all the fuel from your car as usual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I like to do that. I'm, 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 I'm probably will use a little bit less, uh, more, uh, more lean. Uh, make sure then you in these conditions you're taking out three laps out of fuel and taking five laps out of it and uh, see how it goes really uh, of course at the start of the race uh, uh, the goal is to definitely to get into a rhythm not to lose too many positions maybe and then uh, see how it goes yeah definitely and what start obviously which we didn't really want as you mentioned at the start we were planning to do a cheeky one-stop strategy I guess soft hard uh, if we qualified inside the top 10 so we, we had it all planned out for the dry conditions but <laughs> Well, it's wet, so we're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Uh, I can't remember if you had done any wet practice before this, actually. Uh, two laps, I think. Two laps. Oh, no, yeah, that's that's <laughs> <laughs> so the lights are coming on, and away we go for the Spanish uh, Grand Prix. Here you can see from my view, and there's a lot of cars. I forget, it's a slight bit of oversteer. Nick B going nearly on the grass up there in third position. He's trying trying to get some tipping from you, actually, and you're getting. Relatively close to Berg with Nick breaking on the outside, but it looks like to have locked up quite massively there. So you're gonna keep in second place, and this time you get through the first corner, unlike in China, without picking up a stop call penalty. Yeah, there, there was there was a yellow flag once yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> let to go by that, but uh, luckily it didn't, uh, you know, uh, hinder him too much. You yeah. have Ram on, uh, on your inside. You didn't lose any positions going into turn, but now round Rebel Driver, who had actually a pretty strong performance last time and as well, actually, in the wet in the China. Ah! Ah, that's pretty close, but Ram will have the better traction probably out of that turn 5. Asanoka is also pretty close to you, having a look at the do it. again. But you should have the better traction once again on the outside, and you're maintaining at least that position. Yeah, I don't like having to leave room on uh, the outside of corners. Oh my word, Chris, what have you done? 
Jesus! That was in the wall and now you're dropping position. At least you didn't get damaged there, but down to 7th place. What? Yeah, I just overshot turn 9 a little bit. Went to the, the, went to the curb a little bit, like in the dry. Uh, forgot maybe that it was a wet conditions. Probably. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, just spat me into the wall. Luckily, I just was able to turn the car around to not get any front wing damage, but of course that has cost me dearly. Five positions oh, I lost as well. Need to get into this rhythm quickly, otherwise you gotta gain that position of me as well. <laughs> Pretty soon here, but it yeah. seems like I had a little bit of a better exit onto the final side. Berg, of course, still leading from Nick B. I think these two will pull away as you're going defensive from Nuka here. Once again, the, the other Red Bull driver actually having a look up the inside and if you know, Can't get it turned in. A, uh, a little bit of a lockup for, for you there as well, and look up into P8. So, not quite an idea. So, for both of us, you lost two positions, I lost five positions. Yeah. Uh, let's see how it goes from here. Yeah, just, uh, I'm, I'm not quite feeling as confident in these conditions as I would have felt in a dry, and I was quite annoyed that it was raining, and yeah. I just don't feel really uh, comfortable in the traction at this moment in time. Uh, just trying to ease my way into the race a little bit. Obviously, I've dropped position to both of the Red Bulls, so it's not quite a gun to plan at the moment. And obviously, at least, <laughs> and you were obviously holding me up a little bit in that third sector, but at least you seem to have gotten your rhythm back a little bit as I'm now starting to drop away a little bit from uh, from the group here. And uh, you have a little bit of gap to close on a ram as well, actually. But still, the top uh, seven or eight or so still relatively close, I would say. Yeah, I think back at and uh, pulled a little bit of a gap to uh, Nick B here, but uh, it's all fine as you got Fugotaro, next car coming up, very very close behind you, but uh, you're nailing that braking zone into the heaven. I'm gonna maintain that position, yeah, uh, of course, really heavy wet, I think it's still a, a completely different game actually than the intermediates, I personally just prefer the intermediates as well, it's just, and the wet, uh, full wet is just so slow and you just have to fiddle your way around the track really and it's just ah it's just it's just, just, it's just more annoying yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just it? it just takes so much more effort really to uh, <laughs> to drive properly in these conditions and yeah <laughs> we're just la we're just lazy people yeah exactly you're lazy and oh my word uh, and uh, so now we are on lap six all of a sudden and you are getting quite close to this massive train uh, I mean, it looks like one car, I assume that's Berg, that's uh, try starting to pull away a little bit, but after that, it's very, very close. Uh, I'm going a little bit slow through the final sector, actually, and you're getting close now on the main straight. Can you make a move? Do you have a slipstream, Chris? Nope. Uh, <laughs> there was, I think, Papa Socrates, who, one of the new guys, actually, uh, uh, left the session after he crashed on lap one or something, and uh, then there is a it is able to slipstream once again, and you can also see from the clouds that we are actually in stormy conditions at the moment, so even trickier than it was at the start of the race. So you really, really have to be cautious. At least you're the kind of trying uh, to uh, uh, finding your rhythm. You haven't lost too much time to Nuka since last time we checked. Uh, no, I don't believe I have. 1.9 seconds, so I'm not exactly close enough to make a move. And I noticed that Fugitaro was not like, longer in 10, so he's been passed by Chicane behind me as well. So I'm not under, under no immediate pressure either from behind, but we're now on lap 11 and uh, Ram has gotten ahead of Afro by the looks of it. So you have a new car to stare at the back of and touch the back of even into the hairpin there. Luckily again you get away with no damage <laughs> to the front wing, but uh, that was a little bit scary. I think you just docked the rear slightly a little bit because it looked like you're, yeah. uh, you rear stepped out a bit into the corner. Yeah, definitely. Also downshifted probably a little bit too, too quickly though, which didn't help, uh, which doesn't help as well uh, with uh, you know, with rear lockups and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this massive strain, uh, train here, I think Nally is leading that train since, I don't know, absolute ages and Berg, <laughs> especially uh, pulling away from that uh, one as well. I think Nick uh, uh, pulling a gap as well, but not having quite the pace of Berg at the moment. As I said, you are, yeah, oh, actually skipping to the end of lap 13. You can see the rain has eased off slightly. Oh, it seems like a couple of cars coming into the pit, so I'm just gonna fo uh, follow them in. Uh, the Afro actually staying out. I think ev pretty much everyone goes oh! into the pits. I was pretty close to <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're playing chicken with your front wing today. And I'm going to follow in as well on, I think, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I think it was on your advice, really. Uh, yeah. And I know, of course, pit on the same lap as you. I will lose a little bit of time in the box, but I think you were far enough ahead to me not to, have, to stack at least. But obviously, oh, you've been jumped there. Uh, or no, at least, no, I don't I think you were jumped. You were behind him anyway, actually. Or, or did Nucky get ahead? 
Didn't I no, can stay no, out. No, 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 Thing again. It seems like Afra actually lost out through the, um, due to staying yeah. out one uh, other lap. As Fab's uh, having a little bit of a moment here. Actually, I had a moment here as well. Fab is going defensive here, but it seems like I have a little bit more straight line speed here for once on a straight. Going up the inside, outbreaking Fab on the inside, and nice one. That's a move finally done in this train. And Ram actually got to pass Nally as well, so it seems like. Uh, Ram uh, having a very very good race here today once again. We want to uh, touch the AstroTurf though. Oh no, that's going to give Fab an opportunity to get back at you straight away. That's not what you really needed. Um, around the outside now of turn 4. Can you make this stick on the traction? Sliding all over the place. But I think you still have the inside line. You can see the front of Fab's car there. He might get better momentum there out of this corner here. Even though he gets close to the curve. Ah, it's unfortunate. This tiny little touch of the AstroTurf there just put you on the back foot a bit. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted to uh, make these moves stick because I won't give that, uh, uh, get that many opportunities, especially with no slipstream, but Fab making another tiny mistake here, and he's going defensive into this happen and just go, I, I'm just saying, uh, fuck it, let's uh, break it down <laughs> the outside of the happen. I slowed down very nicely, Fab leaving oh, my the outside. Oh, my word! You've uh, actually pulled it off! Or have you? Fab is still there. <laughs> But you're on the inside long one, and uh, if you don't mess up the traction, it's a bit of overset control again, but nicely done, what a move! That was necessary, to be honest, <laughs> uh, at this point, but yeah, I, I was pretty happy with that move at that point, a very, very crucial time to pass as well as what well, Afra, I think, wasn't too far mm. uh, behind as well, and I think, yeah, Fab, Fab doesn't have some more downfalls, maybe, because I was able to pass him on the straight here for some reason, and now he's just not going anywhere near me, I um, went defensive a little bit, but uh, move is done, let's see if I can now catch up to Nally, and potentially even Ram, which is of course a podium position. And the answer is yes. <laughs> 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 not quite Ram actually, but Nally seems to have dropped into you now. So, uh, yeah. through the final sector we go, so, yeah, intermediate conditions obviously definitely uh, seems to be suiting a bit better, oh my word, that's a big slide for uh, Nali there through the chicane, maybe this could give you a run, but of course it's hard to stay close uh, behind through that final corner with the traction and obviously with no slipstream, you put the fuel up to rich, but uh, still you get no slipstream effect here and I assume Nali, oh my word, and, uh, what on earth has happened to Nali there? He's just turned into the wall! Uh, not sure if that was lag or it was just, I don't know what it was, but I I think he's also this position for me as well. Yeah, AI car controlling his car, so he must have had a major problem. And there we go, migrating hose. And Nally was the host of this lobby, so something's gone severely wrong for him. And uh, it's still migrating hose, and it's still migrating hose, so it seems to be a bit of an issue here. As uh, I'm uh, leading the race apparently on my screen, but I don't think that's quite accurate, Chris. Nope. So. Uh, it seems like uh, the host disconnecting here has completely messed up the timings and the positions on the graphics in this race. Yeah, at least the cars are still there and uh, we can figure out probably where we finish towards the end of the race, but for now we just have to deal what we have got and you have to defend from Afro here. Uh, no, is it Afro? Yes, it is it Afro. Is, yep. Has Afro made another mistake who dropped him behind you or something? I can't remember really how we dropped behind, but suddenly I was ahead of him, so... Okay. Uh, I, th I think I can't remember if it was during the pit stop phase or if it was it something be, that happened yeah. after. But uh, I never passed him on track, so he definitely had some problems with that dropping behind. But he's definitely putting the pressure on me because he, after he was, he was like several seconds behind me when I noticed that he was behind me first. Uh, so he was closing in on me quite quick, actually. But I'm all I can really do. I mean, I got no cars immediately ahead of me, so I feel like I'm not really going to gain any more positions at this stage. So all I can really try at this point is to try and at least keep Afro behind for the extra couple of points. I think that I'm in P7 uh, when I'm defending Rafa there. Maybe even P6 actually, but uh, I'm not completely Nuka sure. Nuka is still, I think, between... Yeah, Nuka is somewhere actually, yeah. ...in Fab and you, I guess, for the moment at least. Yeah, and as I look back there, it did say uh, Afro was 8th actually. I think I'm defending 4 7th at the moment, going very defensive into the hairpin. Just about not cutting the corner, and I think I am annoying Afro a little bit at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Seems like Afro has got a, having great pace, but making some couple of mistakes. As he saw, as he dropped out uh, of that uh, 
group for the podium position. And it seems like that uh, Ram uh, in front of me has just pulled away massively, so he's definitely out of range for me as well. And uh, it seems like that it's drying up a little bit, so it's. I wonder if we're going on to the slick tires soonish, next couple of laps maybe? Maybe even yeah. onto the uh, soft tires. It's an interesting one. They did say on the weather forecast, if I remember correctly, that uh, right at the end of the race it was uh, going to be dry, so mm -hmm. that could definitely be the case that's uh, on your screen as well. You are leading the race, but uh, yeah, I think the actual positions we are in at the moment is fourth and seventh. Um, mm -hmm. So you still have Fabra, still are very close behind. Uh, as you said, Ram is pulling away a little bit. Nick B still in second, I believe, as you know. I think the Epic's a little bit through the chicane, and it definitely looks a lot drier, yeah, I was going to say, it looks a lot drier on the track. Still a few raindrops uh, rolling down the camera, but uh, not too much water on the track, so everyone got in for a dry spell, looks like. Yeah, I just copied what, uh, what uh, Ram and the other guys were doing at the front, I think, and Nuka, I think, was uh, on the Delta, or at the timing screen, it seems like that Nuka went in a lap or two earlier. For oh, the yeah. soft tires, so it's, uh, it's going to be interesting how that plans out for him as I get jumped by Fab oh, in the pits. On. That's not good. It might actually be the same for you as well because Afro is pretty close behind you as well. Yeah, Afro was very close behind me going into the pits here, and the Manor crew needs to pull off a stonker. And obviously, both of us pitting on the same lap as our teammates, so both of us are going to have a slightly slower stop. And 5.5 oh. seconds, and Afro is ahead. So. On the change to the drives, both of us have been jumped by McLaren. That's really annoying. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna lost us both, but, but two positions, and especially it's gonna be so so hard to pass again. Obviously, the DRS is activated, so that's gonna might help us a little bit here. But we are now on the final lap already. You can see Afro yep. pulled the gap on you, uh, so there was not much you could have done really after the pit stop to catch him again. Uh, I really needed uh, Afro to stay behind me because I didn't really have the pace of him even on the drives quite. No. Are you gonna attack though on Fab Racer here? Yeah, pretty close, but he was, uh, well, he had a little bit of a gap earlier in the stint. I closed that down in the last couple of laps, but it wasn't quite enough. Actually, I'm aware that the engine had told me that uh, Fab has got a penalty, so I wasn't Ooh. trying everything to get through on him. So if that engineer uh, call was accurate, I should finish ahead of him, maybe in P4 or something. And uh, here we go, across the line, and you have got three corners to go, as well, four corners, actually. Yeah, and you can see Afro has a couple of uh, two, three seconds ahead, so uh, I wasn't quite able to keep his pace, which is why well, I was annoyed really, because that was all I had to fight for <laughs> left in the race for really uh, the second half of the race, and unfortunately, because of him jumping me, I had to settle for what I thought actually at the time that was P8, because I wasn't aware uh, of what you can see here, Nuka dropping to P10, so his gamble to go early on the uh, slicks didn't actually work out at all, and indeed, you did jump. Fab with his three second penalty. So fourth and seventh? Are we happy with that? Yes, I think considering that we thought it would be dry and it yeah. actually wasn't. And uh, yeah, you can see yeah, the, the resulting screen actually a little bit different because you know we don't have <laughs> the result screen. Of course, in game we're a little bit uh, wrong. So yes. uh, we had to <laughs> recreate the standings basically. Luckily, uh, we were able to do that with uh, all the footages uh, you got as well and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I think 4th and 7th, I think, is still a decent team result, and I think both of us... Oh no, actually, only you gained uh, positions in the championship. Yeah, up into the top half, finally! That's uh, that's good, at least. And only one point of 7th, actually, so very close there in the midfield of the standings. You are in 4th still, but you've closed... Oh, uh, you haven't closed, actually, Ram. You did jump Afro, but Ram has jumped to you, so that's why you're still <laughs> in 4th. And obviously, you three still also separate with just one point, so... Yes, close. <laughs> yeah, and well, Nick and Berg running away with this at the moment, really, with both of them. Uh, especially Nick, also getting second here once again today. Constructors, though, interesting. Oh, we were still in fourth, actually, but I think we closed a No, we actually didn't close up <laughs> McLaren and Mercedes. But, you know, it's still pretty close up there for second. And uh, I think uh, with next track, especially for us, could be something on the card, maybe? Monaco next. I mean, <laughs> in the past, I've had good results there on this game. I last season I didn't quite get around it properly. I didn't finish the race, so could be interesting. And you didn't finish the race on Xbox either, <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going in on, in the best of uh, form really, Ramonico. But you know, you never know, Ramonico. It's uh, definitely a special one. 
yeah, everything can happen around this strike. Uh, definitely the key will be to keep it out of the walls. And Scalfi Trap definitely an interesting one, so tune in next time for the Monaco Grand Prix, I guess. Indeed. So, uh, Chris, as always, thank you very much for uh, being you and joining me for this country. No problem. And, uh, yeah, like you said, uh, we'll see you next time at Monaco. Join us there. Goodbye.